Hello beautiful souls and welcome in. Today I have a very special download that came through. Um, it wasn't last night, but the night before. I'm finally able to record. Um, I've had a lot of a lot of information coming through, a lot of uh, celestial events happening and things like that. It's pretty incredible. Hello um, and welcome all, all my soul family, star family. And if you're new here, welcome in. My name is Luna. I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from Archangel, Star Beings, and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love of the world for which I am ever so grateful. I'll have links below in the description for my manifest frequency channel. If you want to check that out, I put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality. And um, also the subliminals help you to reprogram the subconscious mind, which is really helpful when moving to your highest timeline. And then I'll have links below if you want a personal reading, anything like that, go ahead and check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and get into my download. So Spirit woke me up in the middle of the night. And it was actually a really fun, it was a fun wake up. Um, and I got all these beautiful images from Scooby-Doo. Do you guys remember Scooby-Doo, you guys? How many of you guys love Scooby-Doo? Y'all let me know. <laughs> Y'all let me down down in the comments. But I think maybe, maybe these people watch Scooby-Doo is all I could think because it's the Divine Masculine was saying, it's like you're Daphne, you're Daphne and Velma together. Like you're, you're, um, you're the, the whole package, the, the whole package, the whole enchilada is what I'm hearing. <laughs> And uh, that was the download I was getting, but I was seeing it in uh, images, images in my mind, lots of different images. But that's, um, you, you're beautiful and attractive and, and you have a good fashion sense, right? Like Daphne and you're, you're classy. And then like, um, like Velma, you're really intelligent and kind of nerdy and kind of funny and kind of like that best friend sort of vibe as well. Um, I don't think, I think she has a pretty good fashion sense too, you guys. Um, but it's just that she's, um, a little maybe more intelligent in a different way right so that's um that's what the vibes i'm picking up from this i thought it was a really cute vibe that you're you're the whole package divine feminine you're the whole package now i've got a few um i've got a few and i've already i've already cleansed everything i've already cleansed all the energies and i've got a few pre-shuffle cards here because i was like what's going on with this spirit um so what it looks like is this has to do with these divine partnerships or at least it has to do with these uh these chosen ones yes and from what I can see, it's a divine masculine and a divine feminine. So I do believe it's these divine partnerships, counterparts coming in, coming through. Because this cards that I came that came out here, the first card that came out is the star. And then we have temperance. So this has to do with you being the star. You know, this uh, this is Aquarian energy. You being the star. And it says, guide your ship by the light within and know you are on the way to clear sailing. So this divine feminine, this is what they want you to know. Divine masculine, you as well. This is also a message for you. You are the star and you're just guiding your ship by this light within and knowing that you're on the way to clear sailing. Knowing that you're on the way to clear sailing because you guys are connected with this sacred inner space, this sacral chakra. There's a tenderness and sensuality to this partnership, a great tenderness and sensuality. This is going to be a sacred space for both of you in this coming together. This is going to be a sacred space of tenderness, sensuality again, but also pushing forward on your creative purpose and fulfilling, I don't know, I'm feeling it's like going to fulfill a destiny, it feels like, but it feels like it's going to fulfill this longing, this feeling that you've had within you for a very long time. It's going to fill that in. That's what I'm feeling with this sacral chakra. It's going to, it's going to merge and it's going to fill something in. It's going to, uh, it's something that you've always been looking for that maybe you didn't even know you were looking for it. It's going to fill this space that maybe you didn't even know something was missing. But that's, that's what this is, this coming together, this merging, these divine counterparts. As the divine masculine, the divine feminine. So... Uh, Spirit is saying to have patience with this in this time. Temperance as you're tempering out these energies. And this has a lot to do with uh, these ancient bloodlines. So we have our ancient future here. We've got this connection to Lemuria. Um, this is the Beyond Lemuria deck here. So we have this connection to Lemuria. Probably High Priest and High Priestess of Atlantis and Egypt as well um, would be my guess. Just with this energy that's coming through. That it's been multiple lifetimes. And it's like bringing these partners back together. 
uh, these from these and um, this is from the indigenous people uh, this uh, this card specifically says indigenous which I think is so awesome because that's the word that um, Ashley has been using over at divine goddess enlightenment uh, quite recently she's talking about the indigenous people that we are indigenous people and they try to take away our rights and we just have way more way more power you know than um, perhaps other um, other tribes yes that, that makes sense. So it has to do with this ancient history. It has to do with these ancient bloodlines. And that's what I've been talking about forever, these ancient bloodlines. Um, but this is connecting to our ancient, and it says ancient future, which this is what's going to bring these beautiful partnerships into fruition in the future, but it's also what's bringing this new earth into the future. And when I was talking about tempering these energies, we had the violet flame over here. And this card in particular, they had me uh, pull, this is one of the books they keep. I keep beside my, um, table here spirit had me start keeping it here a few of them and the violet flame uh was very interesting because it ha they had me look it up and this has to do with your psychic toolkit recentering practices deepening your energetic awareness clearing your aura healthy energetic boundaries protection removing trauma from your field maintaining a high vibration rebalancing after times of raised frequency and that's the part that got me right here it's the rebalancing after times of raised frequency i know we've been going through these times of raised frequency and i think when these partnership activations come through it is a time of high raised frequency and then you have to balance that up out and it's coming through really fast so i'll just try to slow it down you think of it as a pendulum uh, that swings back and forth. And if you have this high swing, it's going to swing back in the other direction before it normalizes, right? Back to a higher, usually it's going to be a higher uh, norm than it was before. And that's how that ascension, that's how these ascension energies work. You get these super high vibrational energies, super high, but maybe your body's not ready to keep that high vibration all the time. So it needs to balance back out. So it comes back to that new normal and then it can go up up into the highs again, right? But this is what uh, they were showing me. And I felt this over the last few days. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, I wanted to talk about, they're wanting me to talk about the celestial event now. So the thing that happened, it was an angelic event actually. And they woke me up last night with it. And I got a bunch of more downloads as well um, about Neptune's daughter and the child, child of Poseidon, um, Genghis Khan, high priestess of Atlantis. And then we've got Atlantis right here. But what happened is, spirit. I came home when I came home yesterday. I I um was kind of wore out all day. I just had to really rest. It wasn't bad wore out or anything like that, you guys. But I didn't realize there was that major solar flare that came through when I was in Oklahoma. And I feel and I've been seeing Oklahoma on everything too. So that's very interesting. So Stefan Burns came out with a video this morning, and I don't know if you've watched his recent videos, you guys. But if you haven't, you should check out his channel. He has a really great one on uh, the the planets and what they're doing through the month of April, I think it's through April at least, um, that has to do with all these energies of the planets and also with the solar eclipse. And then he had one just come out um, for Gobekli Tepe as well, which is really cool information because I just got that cool, um, amazing download, um, new spirit guide, amazing download and seal about Gobekli, Gobekli Tepe. So there's some cool information there if you guys want to check it out. But I saw his video this morning, I actually caught a live uh, which was so cool. I don't think I've ever caught a live before. He was talking about these solar flares and there was a major one and I could see it on the Schumann Resonance this morning. I'm going to go have to look at historical now. That came through when I was in Oklahoma and I was like, oh, that must be what I felt. That must have been it. Oh, I'm not getting the historical to pop up. Just one second, guys. Okay, well, there was these twin, uh, twin solar flares that came through. So there was one on the 31st, I believe, and then on the 1st. So this was the one that came through yesterday. Actually, it was, it was like early morning. Like, um, this is what I was feeling. Maybe it was last night. This is, uh, this is when this came through. And this is while I was sleeping. So this is when the, uh, there was some activity here. And then this is while I was sleeping last night. And I wondered what was happening because I felt the need to go to bed really early. And look what's happening now, you guys. Look at this. I, I thought maybe this could be like a storm or something like a snowstorm in Russia. Um, it's hard to tell, but when I go to check the other, the data from Italy, it does look like there's um, activity that's happening there as well. So this is happening, um, if, if this is right, this is happening, I wonder if this has to do with that um, ionic, uh, ionic stream that's coming through, the high, uh, high, high vibe, is it high speed, high speed ionic stream? <laughs> I should have wrote the words down, I'm going to do that next time. So last night, um, I felt the need to go to bed early. I started getting ready for bed pretty early. 
I was so tired. I was just uh, really excited about drifting off to sleep. Like it felt really nice, right? And um, I woke up in the middle of the night to get up to go to the bathroom and it seemed really dark. I was just really out of it, you guys. I was really tired, and um, so I just, I was like, I was noticing, I thought I was like getting like um, high frequency downloads, like high light vibration downloads, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm like super, super out of it, and I so I kind of stumble back to the bed, and um, and I lay down, and I know, I look over at the snake's enclosure, and I was like, I think the electricity is out. So I play rain at night uh, when I sleep, and that was still playing, but the snake light, there's always like a very like a light ultraviolet light that's on um, in the nighttime at the very least. And there was no light. And I was like, I think the electricity's out. But I was so tired and blissful, uh, blissful feeling that I was just going to drift back off to sleep. I didn't really care. And then I noticed uh, the the flashing lights, you guys. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't just, it wasn't just all uh, downloads, but it was literally happening, uh, quite literally happening. The flashing lights, it was crazy. I like heat lightning, just the flash, flash, flash. It was so bright. It was lighting up the whole room through my blinds and I had to, um, <laughs> it was so cool. I and mean, honestly, I know it was lightning, you guys, but it felt like it total, totally could have been like a spaceship outside with like all the lights like happening. I just pulled my uh, pillow over my head and I went back to sleep. And when I woke up a bit later, um, early this morning, the, the sneak light was back on. And I was like, okay, yeah, it was, the lights were out. But also, but also, I have this little pressure we did light um, over here that I turn off every night. It's the one that I have that's pink, you guys. And um, I've been turned off and everything, but it had been turned back on. Like something had touched it. Now I feel like it co possibly could have been a electrical jolt right from the electricity coming back on that's a possibility but nothing else turned on like that it was just my pressure sensitive light uh that you would need to touch to turn on and i felt i felt presences i felt the presences of uh beings in my room when i was going back to sleep like it just felt really blissful and nice because i i i'm used to those vibes i'm totally accepting those vibes it was really nice and um so then i had that light turned on and it had changed colors it was on the um the, the next color, the next color setting. And they set it to like the soft white. So there was beautiful soft white light. And I was like, well, that's just my confirmation that they were here. And then when I got up, I also found my little crystal ball. It was a little smoky quartz ball that was on the floor. And um, I spoke to my roommates and apparently this there was a freak, freak storm, crazy, crazy freak storm that came through. Um, just a little after midnight, about midnight it came through, and I think I was in bed maybe a little before or a little after 11 was when I finally went to sleep, and um, so I was this, I was dead asleep when this came through, but it was like crazy, um, came through like a torrential, torrential downpour, there was, there was like a softball size hail. Uh, crazy torrential downpour, crazy wind, uh, coming from like all directions, and um, and all the flashing lights, the, the lightning was just insane. They said it lit up the whole sky. There was a torrential downpour and the wind and the hail, and it lasted for about two minutes. But the wind and, and the rain and stuff like that kept happening um, off and on. And it finally, the as soon as it hit, as soon as it hit, they, he told me, they told me, it, it like, it shut down the lights. Everything went out as soon as it hit. And, um... And I was, I was just out, <laughs> which was blissful to me. And then it, it was just all crazy. And they were watching it out in the yard because it lit up the, uh, the windows. It was so bright. It was lighting up the windows. And um, one of the roommates went outside and said that the wind it felt like it was coming from all four sides and like lifting them up in the air. And I thought, how incredible. Because when I woke up, they told me it was an angelic event. They told me it was an angelic event. And they also told me that it was a, a worldwide event. But I do know that we're all in different timelines, so I think things like this can happen at different times. But that's why I was asking you guys if you had anything special that happened, because it was it was pretty incredible. And then I got all these downloads this morning, like so many that was coming at me. I just couldn't, um, I was just like drifting in the downloads and <laughs> I was like, I have to get up and write some of this down. I managed to get up and write down um, a few few here. And then this horrible scribbling of me trying to write um, what was happening <laughs> as I woke up this morning. 
but um, I just that's what I wanted to share with you guys this event so this was the uh, this was the solar flare that came through last night and I think that's what did the uh, this crazy activation here at my house that solar flare um, or you know and look at the energies look at the energies here so this is the activity from last night and then um, and this is what just started happening this morning look at that Wow okay okay so we're gonna get some more messages here so this has to do with the sacred divine partnerships they were connected in lemuria uh connected from past lifetimes and also atlantis so these are these memories of atlantis see the onk here that's going to be a particular symbol or sign for you this is exp spiritual acceleration that's happening right now great progress and this has to do with technology this has to do with a lot of spiritual technologies and putting these technologies into use and these technologies being put into use right now for us through this spiritual acceleration. And we're going to be putting more technology into use in the future that's going to be helping the planet even more, is what they're telling me. So we've got these Anunnaki light codes that are coming through. And then I was saying ancient Egypt, um, um, ancient Sumer Sumeria, I was talking about Gobekli Tepe. So with these Anunnaki light codes, this is creating a great energetic shift. There is new information coming in, and this is creating an end of a cycle, an end of that old cycle, an end of that old matrix cycle, and the beginning of something new. Because there's all this new information coming in for you, all, in, all this new information coming in for the collective. And they're showing me the bottom of the deck, and I didn't want to take this card earlier, but they want me to show you guys this. This is the Star Being Healing Codes. This is important information. Your wounds are healed and you are recharging. Oh gosh, they're saying you're healed. You're healed and you're just recharging now. You're just recharging through this shift. This is important information. And this is what I was seeing with that like avatar presence around um, around you. And, and, and there's a couple of readings ago for some of you guys, definitely for you guys here then. And I'm also seeing like this crowning. I'm hearing Solaris. And I'm also seeing the, the the swans, the swan pairing, and I'm seeing a raising of a vibration, a raising up to your I am presence as well, activating this third eye, activating this clear vision. I'm going to have a clear vision. I'm seeing the owl for wisdom as well. I'm going to have a clear vision uh, video that I will put out possibly tomorrow. So you guys will have that as well. We're going to get a couple of energy oracle cards and some of these tarot of mystical moments. Let me check the time. 17, 14, and then 17, 17. So that's 8, 8. Oh, I just saw 8, 8 earlier on Spirit Baby Cows uh, posting. That's fun. 8, 8. So I'll look up that number. They want me to look it up, so I'll just do that. I've got two, um, two cards that came out for you guys. Just one second. Look up 88. 88, angel, number, or maybe I should check the numerology. A sign of great success, abundance, and prosperity. Uh, when this number keeps appearing in your life, it indicates that exciting and positive changes on the horizon. Your guardian angels or spirit guides are trying to prepare you for wonderful opportunities that lie ahead. And that's your confirmation because you can, guys can hear um, uh, Muna barking in the other room. I'm not sure what that's about. Hopefully that'll stop. I won't have to go check on it. So we've got the Fool and the Knight of Swords. Gosh. Okay, I feel... Again, this was the Divine Masculine that was sending this message to the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine about you being... Um, you being this, this, the whole package, the entire package, right, you guys? So I hear her crying at my door, you guys, and this is it. That's what, like, they're, like, crying at your door. I'm going to have to go check on this real quick, but they're, they're definitely going to make a jump towards you guys. That's what's happening here. This Knight of Swords wants to come in and make this full leap, this uh, leap of faith towards the Divine Feminine. Okay, yeah, we've got this, the Divine Masculine wanting to jump towards, like, with this Knight of Swords energy. Ah, to come through with the truth, to come through with the truth, I'm hearing. To come through with the truth, I think they have a lot of information within themselves. Like, look at this newspaper is what they're showing me here. It says, fright is worth the cost. Right is worth the cost. Oh, it's like they're flying to you because they're showing me like the surfing on the feather sort of thing. And even creating reality with this pen, with this sword of theirs, with this information. 
That's pretty cool. I feel like you're this lantern. You're this like light that's guiding them forward on this journey. That's making them want to make this leap of faith. Divine feminine, the lantern, the light. I keep hearing that reference a lot. Oh gosh, I think my uh, frequency stopped. Let me turn them back on here. There we go. All right, I had three cards come out. We have second chakra, Archangel Ariel, and then we've got that sacral here twice, you guys. That's the sacral chakra twice. We've got nine for connected in the spirit world. I, I do feel that they're both highly psychic. Uh, both of these partners are highly psychic and they are connected in the spirit world. They might be connected psychically, getting psychic information. And this is super important that all of this has to do with the sacral chakra. I feel like a lot of people had their sacral chakra blocked. This could have to do with um, the microbiome. This could have to do with the microbiome and healing and working on healing the microbiome and that brain gut connection leading you forward on your angelic purpose. For some of you, you may have been working on this for a while, maybe others of you have just started or this is something new that you're interested in. If so, this is just your confirmation that you're on the right path. But I have Archangel Ariel. Now, you guys could also be part of the Archangel Ariel Collective um, or have communications with Archangel Ariel. I know she has a lot to do with these divine partnerships. And she's one of uh, the Archangel's She's very friendly. She comes and talks to me all the time. So we've got six chakra, six chakra Archangel Metatron and Caring Connection. So we definitely have this twin uh, this twin thing going on. We've got Metatron. He's one of the twin angels. And we've got the third eye open. So this is connected um, with this beautiful sexual healing energy, right? You guys are going to be connected in this beautiful womb space, this um, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality, sacred inner space, but also through the third eye. Like I was saying with the, the nine for the spirit world, you're going to be connected. You can see each other with the third eye. You both have your third eye open and are connected intergalactically, connected cosmically to the cosmic oneness, to the oneness, to the collective unconscious. Well, of course, but they're just showing me lots of different things. So Archangel Metatron is one of the twin angels with Archangel Sandalphon. So this could be a twin flame soulmate, divine partnership for some of you. This is the case. And then I'm just seeing images of this as a divine masculine and a divine feminine. You might have both very um, angelic energies about you. Let's see where I can put these, you guys. Here we go. Making the sleep. Memories of Atlantis. Anunnaki light codes. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's like these angelic beings coming together. Could be connected to the Christic line. Okay, we're wanting to get some energy or more energy oracle cards. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have, have faith in this. And then we've got the, okay, so we've got the second chakra for the sacral, but we also have the root. So again, this is going to be very rooted. I'm seeing the uh, three and the five, the eight. Um, for, we were just looking at the abundance and prosperity coming through with this connection is what I'm seeing. You can see this. You can see this far into the future. You can see this possibility because you both have your crown chakra engaged and you've got like this, um, some of you guys, not all, uh, because I feel you've got this angelic presence around you and you actually might have the protection of Archangel Michael. That's what they're, that's what they're showing me. It's Archangel Michael. You've got this Archangel Michael presence, this protection. You might be connected to Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael and Archangel Ariel. I, I am. I know I am. So there was a, this is a contract, you guys. This is a good one. And then we've got the six here for the nine. I was the nine for the spirit world, and this is uh, six and the nine. So that's the, uh, the coming together of the yin and the yang. Um, this is going to be a very balanced partnership, but this is a contract, a partnership, um, a marriage, a divine union, a contract. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be very balanced. And it's breaking, breaking karmic contracts, I'm hearing. Breaking karmic contracts. We're going to get some dragon cards. Archangel Michael. He's been uh, greatly protecting these unions. As Archangel Ariel has been nurturing them, she says. Archangel Metatron has been showing you the way and connecting you psychically. <gasps> through dreams. Through dreams, he's telling me. I've got this sparkly, sparkly space through the Aether, possibly an astral. 
possibly you're connecting to the library. I've got two cards that came out. Vision. Vision, that's what we were just talking about. Contemplating the future. This is just your confirmation. Yeah, they're thinking about this future with you because, yeah, they want to do this full sleep. Come in this Knight of Swords. Come in with this information. They're, they're thinking about this future with you. I think they're thinking about it quite logically and analytically. As a matter of fact, they might be feeling very emotional with this sacral and root chakra thing going on. With the third eye, we've got this sacred tenderness in her space, right? But um, I feel like they're looking at it very analytically with this Knight of Swords. Uh, but it's the truth. They're looking at the truth. And so this is their vision. They can see this future with you with their third eye. And they're contemplating this future. And that's what they want to do. They want to just rush in, leap in the fool, take a leap. They want to take a leap. But they're being analytical about it. So this is healing. I think they're healing right now. We just said that they're healed, right? Where was that? You are healed. You are healed. It's one of these cards, you guys. I think I had to look them up. Um, one of these said you are healed. Is it this one? You are already healed. The violet flame. So assume you already healed and you are, but this is healing. So some of them could be taking time to heal right now. What I'm seeing is like this dragon and this like little fairy spirit. And, and I feel like this is like the divine feminine, like this beautiful fairy light, right? And then filling the dragon, the restoring hope, and it looks like he's screaming. He's like, ah, oh my god. Like he's like wanting to reach out, but kind of holding back at the same time. And I think they're going through this healing process. We've got the nine again for 99. So we got flight 99. And uh, yeah, that's connected, double connected in the spirit world, is what I'm seeing. Do I have this book over here? Yeah, they want me to look at this card. Okay. Epsilon Pegasi. It's Pegasus. This is Pegasus energy. This healing, it's Pegasus energy. Pegasus energy. That should mean something to some of you guys. Okay? Um, and I'm looking at it in Spanish, y'all. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah, I was actually reading it in Spanish, so that's fun. Let's see here. Healing. Restoring hope. Pegasus. Epsilon Pegasi. I guess, um, yeah. Pretty much Latin's the same in any language, right? Well, it's Latin. Wisdom of the Herald. Hope springs eternal and is waiting for you to take flight. Even in the darkest night, the star shines forth to lead the way. We had the star right here. That's you, Divine Feminine. You're the star. The star shines forth to lead the way. Hope does not expect anything, but rather looks forward and visualizes, visualizes, <laughs> vision, visualizes a day. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when the light will return once more, hold on to that vision and press on forward. Actively restore your optimistic mindset. Help is on the way. <laughs> yes, because Archangel Michael is on the way. So was Archangel Metatron or Archangel Ariel. Help is on the way because they've been setting this up behind the scenes. They've been working really hard at this behind the scenes, you guys. Um, and then again, hold the vision. Hold the vision because you have a vision for this future. Well, that was great. I love that card. Anything else you want to tell us, Spirit? About these, yes, I got two more cards. Oh, yes, it's a rest and rejuvenation right now for these divine partners. Rest and rejuvenation and a fourth chakra Archangel Raphael. So we have Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Michael and Archangel uh, Ariel here as well. So this is the heart chakra opening. And I do feel that we're having this greater heart chakra opening right now, this blossoming, this expansion of the heart chakra and opening up to these divine partnerships and opening up to love. When perhaps there were people that hurt us in the past because of these karmic contracts, because of these karmic situations that we are now coming to realize, that we're now coming to light, now we're coming to understand and to move away from. That there, it is okay, it is safe to open our hearts to these divine partnerships. And we've got Archangel Raphael doing this healing. He's telling me he's sending these gamma plate, these gamma plasma waves of healing light. So gamma waves and plasma waves of healing light. Um, Archangel Raphael is saying to heal your heart. Now I have a beautiful heart chakra frequency, a uh, heart expanding, blossoming frequency. If you want to go check that out, that's going to be really helpful through this time. I know I have been using it. I wanted me to get some practical magic cards. So let's see. I think there could be some magic going on with this union. Maybe both of, one or both are magicians or uh, wizards, witches, 
sorceresses come from this beautiful magical alchemical school. Ooh, I'm hearing alchemists. Yes, sacred alchemy. Oh, I had a card fall on the floor. Fear, death watch beetle, the fear fell on the floor. They're letting go of fear. Letting go of fear to make this leap forward, to make this uh, movement. Letting go of fear. Two more cards. Community and purify. Community and purify. Okay, we were talking about moving away from energies that weren't good for us. So I do feel this is what it's calling you to do, to purify your connections. Because you want to, I know we come in with like all this family stuff, right? That we're put in these families, possibly karmic families with karmic ties. This might not be our soul family, star family, and that would actually raise us in vibration these people that we're actually supposed to be with. So you might need to purify out some of these old energies um, before moving forward. For some of you, this is the case. Like cleaning up your community, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. But I also feel like you guys might actually be doing community cleanup kind of stuff in the future, like cleaning up the earth, you know? Cause it's a, that's, a, that's the whole process to new earth is we're making it better, right? Yeah, they're showing me this. You're protected in this time with this protection rope. It's a witch's hanging rope. I was talking about somebody being a witch because this is uh, you're releasing right now. You're releasing these things from these old timelines, the spilled salt, releasing the fear. Oh, yes, because trust. Look, it's Archangel Michael. Trust, trust in these memories from Atlantis. Trust in this technological process that's helping us to understand everything that's happening right now. I'm just making sure you guys can see the cards. I saw 1202. You might be seeing... Um, 1202 or 202 or 1221 or 1222. These are the numbers I'm seeing. Releasing a fear and trusting, trusting in these memories from Atlantis, trusting in the spiritual acceleration, trusting in this technology that's showing us this progress that's actually happening. Trust in this progress progress trust in this process because your faith and your trust and your belief is what is taking us there it is what creates your reality your faith your trust your belief and this is what anchors it in and you want to anchor this into your heart see this with your third eye it's a connection it's connecting all the chakras lighting them all up connecting to your earth star chakra connecting to your soul star chakra connecting to your stellar gateway opening that up and getting all these divine blueprints getting access to even closer than soul family, star family, to get access to those higher up divine counterparts. And that's, that was just some information that just came through really fast. That's seeing beyond the veil. That's you seeing beyond the veil right now. You see what, so you can see what's coming in for these contracts, these caring, caring connections, these connected to these lotus blossoms, this sacred inner space. You're seeing beyond the veil. There's great divination that's happening across the planet at this time. As many people are tapping into and accessing their psychic abilities, maybe people that thought that they were just, I don't know, imagining things before. People, it's all those narcissists that were trying to tell people that they were dumb for thinking in spirit, believing in spiritual stuff or, uh, uh, I keep hearing hooey wooey stuff. I don't even know what that must be a certain spirit guide or ancestor that's here saying all that weird metaphysical things, right? So that's, um, that's coming to an end because I think we're, I honestly think we're overwhelming them in numbers now, you guys. That's what's happening as we raise them in vibration and consciousness. And also the science is backing it up so people just have to see because this is just facts. This is just facts. This is science facts <laughs> to create your reality. The science facts, if you go down to a quantum level and you look at different things and different, you'll understand, you can understand. And when you understand, this is actually seeing beyond. This is showing you beyond the, I'm seeing beyond the matrix. I was saying beyond the veil, but what I'm seeing is like that glass apple. I'm seeing that like glass ceiling. I'm seeing that like um, breaking the, the firmament, you know, just like seeing beyond, seeing beyond all of that. And I think it's evoking a lot of emotions within people right now. I've got this water element for emotions. I do feel like Divine Masculine is a little bit up in his feels at the moment. Is there anything else you want to tell us about the Divine Masculine spirit? Insight. Change. 
rest, recharge, circle the moon, awareness. Okay, so they're aware they need to come around this divine feminine. They want to circle around the moon. They, they're they getting great insights to this. They might have actually been doing spell work. I said this seems very magical. Um, this They could have actually gone to, um, they might have uh, done some sort of meditation or spell work to discover who their divine feminine is. They could have gone to a psychic to find out. They might already know who you are, divine feminine. You might not know um, who this my masculine is you might not um so there's an awareness of this or perhaps divine feminine no i asked about the divine masculine yeah they're going to circle there's going to be some great change in their lives they're going to circle around this moon they're going to there's going to be some great changes happening i think they're already going through great changes as they have this awareness around this insight and I, they're burning a candle for you they've got a flame burning for you oh i saw in the beginning where was it it was like the flame where the divine feminine is being pulled as is the lighthouse, is the lantern that's uh, right here, that's pulling the divine masculine, that's the candle that I'm seeing. They just need to rest, rest and rejuvenate, rest and recharge. I've got that on here several times. Let's get a couple of, let's see which ones do we want. Okay, this right here. Earth Alchemy Oracle cards. That's funny, I've got Gamma Waves playing right now. Solar Wave. Gamma waves. Like solar waves is the name of the these sounds. Gam with gamma waves. Anyway, I mean, we've got the, and he said uh, Archangel Raphael was talking about the gamma waves and the um the healing a plasma energy. So we've got the fusion, feldspar, inner child, innocence and self-awareness. I think a lot of us have been doing this inner child healing and we're coming to this innocence and self-awareness within. This is creating great change. It's great transformation. As we're connecting to this crystalline light body, look at this little swirl. It looks like the crystalline light body upgrade frequency that I put out on my manifest frequency channel. It's raising these star seeds and I'm seeing these royal ones, all these little fuchsias these royal stars, these royal divine feminines, these flowers, these divine feminines healing their inner child and having the self-awareness is what's attracting the divine masculine. The divine masculine may be healing, uh, doing some inner child healing as well. Uh, we've got the Ethiopian opal and fertile ground, Pegasus, unicorn energy, rainbow child. As I said, we've got Pegasus here twice. That's just your confirmation for that symbolism. Pegasus, we've got the unicorn energy where you've got that crown and the third eye connected and you're open and you can do quite magical things. But we also have this partnership here of this unicorn and Pegasus coming together. Like it looks like they're under the moon. This is an opal, beautiful opal. It's um the opal, it's expanding the psychic gifts is what they're telling me. Uh, when you're coming together, I really feel that you're already connected energetically and this is actually expanding your psychic gifts exponentially uh, we've got these rainbow light waves coming down as well these are these light uh, light code activations i wrote down this morning and let's see if i can read my awful handwriting woke up lights flashing uh i said oh i don't know what that says and something upgrades light upgrades light upgrades that's what i was feeling light upgrades light upgrades so rainbow child uh, rainbow child energy so there's, this is you just getting those rainbow, all the different colors, all the different frequencies, going full spectrum. I'm here and going full spectrum, multidimensionality, and bringing all these character traits within yourself into this crystal and light body upgrade. I'm hearing DNA activations and acceleration as well. Uh, this has to do with fertile ground, and this is a fertile ground for a partnership. Now, for some of you, this could be a child or a, a spiritual child, as in something that you're going to create together. Um, this is definitely what I'm feeling with this energy, the fertile ground for that. To create. I'm the Ethiopian and I'm hearing I'm hearing like fertile crescent as well. Fertile crescent. And I'm feeling this is gonna create abundance. This is going to blossom abundance. These energies blossoming out to the earth. Oh, that's a beautiful message that just came through. Beautiful message. Okay, you guys, I'll just get a couple of cards, I think, to close this energy out. You know what? We want to start with Astro and a couple of moons, moonology cards. Okay. Yeah, we've got six house. This is going to be sustainable for the future. We've got Neptune for vision, and I had that uh, download for Neptune's daughter, Neptune's child, Poseidon's child coming through as well. So this is a great vision 
um, that is taking place on the earth right now. You guys have actually maybe had visions about this for a while. I'm seeing the eight of the coming out of karmic cycles and the energy is coming into the earth and the earth expanding. This earth expanding and coming out. Now, this, this Neptunian energy, again, this I've got this emotional element of the water here as well. So there could be some, I don't know, fantasizing. There could be some dreams. Oh, I'm hearing dreams, dreams and visions. So you may be dreaming and envisioning each other. So we've got this is going to be sustainable for the future. And then again, I said with the chakras aligned, connecting you to source energy, connecting you interdimensionally. Like we've got like the hands in everything. Cosmically, interdimensionally, like your multiple hands and everything with your avatar presence. And we've got the 44 there for another master number of creating stability to come up out of these karmic cycles and move to abundance. There's going to be some incoming communication that's going to be passionate. Look at this. Passion and communication. Communication. Ooh, between these divine partners. The divine masculine and the divine feminine. Look how sparkly this energy is. It makes me feel really nice. Look at this black and white energy. It's all sparkly. And this is the divine masculine. We've got the divine feminine with all these flowers blossoming. The energies are electric, I'm hearing. The energies are electric. It's very passionate. It's going to be blossoming even more passion into your life and into your artistic creativity. You're going to be doing more artistic things. You might be communicating uh, your passion with the world through these artistic creative pursuits, through these uh, partnerships coming together. So they're going to be, they're going to be, um, what is it? They're going to be reflecting each other. That's not the word I'm looking for. They're going to be amplifying each other. They're going to be making everything better. It's going to be with the Ethiopian opal. Yeah. You know how the, uh, they gave opals to the, the oracles to have a higher perceptive, a, to amplify their gifts. This is what I'm hearing, to amplify their gifts. So this is going to amplify your gifts. What happened here? Oh, yeah, because it's a rebirth that's happening right now. Pluto, rebirth. I had this card and I, uh, rebirth into authority is what they're showing me because perhaps I weren't standing in their authority before, but they're going to be now. It's a rebirth into authority of the climbing of the top of the mountain and reaching the top of that mountain and having that authority and that connection to source to do whatever the heck you want to, right? This is a rebirth into that energy. A rebirth. It's a great rebirth that's happening right now on the planet. And we just went through Easter, super, and All-Star, great time for rebirth. We're getting ready to go through this amazing portal, this amazing solar eclipse. I'm going to the totality, you guys. I'm going down to see my daughter in Texas. I'm your daughter and her husband, and we're going to the totality. My daughter and I went to the totality in Independence, Missouri, which is very, very fortuitous um, because Spirit had told me about it in dreams. Uh, I always follow Spirit in my dreams. I don't listen to outside sources. I follow within. So that's, that's always been my thing. So Spirit gave me these dreams. I had these crazy cosmic prophetic dreams, and so... We went to the eclipse and we were, I made this beautiful bed on top of, I had a little tracker, you guys, it was the big one. So it was a pretty big bed and uh, like a feather bed. And this, uh, we didn't even have the, the best glasses, like the right glasses. We were like holding two different welding glasses together. And this library lady walked around and gave us all eclipse glasses, which somehow I knew would gonna, was gonna happen. <laughs> and then we were just buzzing with the energy. It was super incredible. And on the way there, there was a crazy flash storm. I, when I was going through one of the major cities, uh, maybe, uh, and then there was like crazy lightning, like these pillars of lightning that came down like this and it flooded. It was like flash flood as I drove through. You could see this wall of storm coming. It kind of reminds me of the storm that happened last night. This is why I'm telling you guys. And uh, my daughter slept through it. It was so crazy where there's these pillars of lightning and I was like, whoa, that was like a God level event on our way, on our way to that eclipse. And then during the clips, we were just like, I was like, our whole bodies were vibrating and buzzing. And it was just super incredible. The energy was amazing. It felt so good. And after that, we just wanted to go to every eclipse we could ever see after that. And we understood why people chase eclipses. The energy is incredible. But we definitely said we wanted to go to the next one that was in the totality in North America. And I'm really excited to be going. So it's a very fortuitous event. It's a very, it's going to be closing out from that last eclipse portal we went to. So I'm really excited. I'm about this incredible rebirth that's happening. So let's get you guys a moon card. I've got a oh full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. So we've got some Leo energy. And again, with these royal star seeds, these chosen ones with this Leonine energy, don't let pride get in your way of stepping into partnerships or opening yourself to love is what I'm hearing. 
And your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. I think it's to this path, to this divine partnership. Your commitment's being tested to it. Um, the divine masculine, divine feminine, that's just how it works. Um, when they set up these partnerships, that's how it works. And then take time to breathe out. So again, that rest, recharge, and release right there. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. So you can understand what's happening and we'll work through all those feelings within Maya's over here mooning. I think she mooning, <laughs> moaning. I think she wants out of my room again. You're just going to have to wait a minute, baby. Just lay right down there. Just wait one moment. I'm almost done. And then step out of your comfort zone, North Node. And this is about going to your North Node. Your North Node is going to be very important in your chart. I'm sure most of you guys have already already know your North Node. Mine is Aries. I'm heading towards Aries. <gasps> and it's Aries is this a portal. Um, This eclipse is going to be through the Aries new moon, right? Surrender to the divine full moon. And I just said new moon. We got the full moon. And I was doing special uh, rituals on the full moon to bring in, maybe some of you guys are doing rituals on the full moon uh, that have to do with these manifestations. They could have to do with these partnerships, these divine partnerships coming together. And this is surrendering to that divine with this energy of the moon pulling. Divine masculine is what I'm hearing as the divine feminine is pulling to you, surrendering to that energy, stepping out of your comfort zone and heading towards your north node, which is going to be this divine partnership. Divine feminine, same with you. Check what your north node is. If you don't already know it, you want to head towards your north node and that is stepping out of your comfort zone because you're comfortable with your south node and all that stuff you came in with that's your comfort zone but you have to work through your fears new moon and scorpio so we've got some scorpio energy here as well you have to work through those fears scorpio you have to work through those watery emotional fears um and yeah and on this new moon on this new moon that's coming up and it's going to be an incredible portal for you Y'all, everything has been trying to keep me from getting this reading out. I'm going to tell you this is, oh gosh, I see the 441 again. So the 144, it's because it has to do with this 144 and them coming together. And this could have to do with more than just the 144,000. These could be the original 144. They came here to guide the children to bring these others up in this ascension process. And that's why there's so much of this energy is coming against uh, this information coming out, coming against these partnerships. Um... Yeah, there's a soul healing that's happening right now. They're showing me soul healing. Soul healing, aligning with your essence and seeing true colors. Seeing your true colors with this inner vision. Enter the magic, live in the now. Oh, excuse me, confirmation of birth. Enter the magic, live in the now. Oh, look at this beautiful. I love this so much. Yeah, this expanded chakras down into the earth, the expanded chakras up. Having this unicorn presence. Some of you might have a unicorn guide. This is helping you to manifest your dreams. So I'm seeing, but we've got this 22 number. For some of you, this is a twin flame. Focus on your vision and seek satisfaction and contentment. Because you're going to this happy family. It's a dream, right? It's a dream. It's a vision. Maybe something you've been manifesting. Definitely something you've been manifesting. And this is the other card that came out, open to abundance. And we've got the eight again. So we've got 888. We've had that eight showing up multiple times. Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. And that's how you're going to manifest this beautiful new reality. Um, yeah. And this is a beautiful, beautiful message. They're showing me one more. Rose gold cosmic pool bathe in cosmic love and soak up the wisdom and i'm feeling this owl wisdom this magic this magic and again i'm seeing orion um i'm seeing the stag the unicorn the tiger we've got the divine feminine tiger we've got the bear bear energy the cat the cat and mouse there may be a little there may be a been a little cat and mouse stuff happening with the divine feminine the divine masculine like a little cat and mouse game something something i'm hearing like that I wouldn't put it as game. Bait is like a bait is more of it. It, <laughs> it's, it seems playful. It seems fun. That's what I'm hearing. And I actually feel like it's going to be really helpful for the divine feminine. The divine masculine is going to be really helpful for the divine feminine in some way because I see they're showing me again that the mouse and the cat, the big cat, the tiger, um, and having been caught in the net and the mouse chewing uh, little bits of the cord to help the tiger get out of the net. And that's like the divine feminine uh, rising. And I've also got the Bastet energy here as well. Bastet energy and Athena energy. So I hope this reading has been helpful to you guys. Uh, let me know how it resonates. I love hearing from you guys in the comments, my beautiful soul family, star family. I'm sending you guys so much light and love and I'll talk to you soon.